In our Jesuit tradition, you often hear the Latin phrase, cura personalis, care for the entire person. Formation speaks to shaping the entire person, and it's provided us an opportunity for counselors to help students explore who they are, who they want to be. I love our formation program because I'm old enough to have been around prior to the formation. We've always, I think, had strong counselors, but the biggest difference I see since we started having formation classes is the counselors have an opportunity to really get to know their students. The counselors and the students meet in class twice a week, and so that weekly connection to a counselor has enabled students to have relationships with their counselor that allows them to have someone to turn to in times of need, in times of joy. Having been in other schools, I've seen the benefit of what formation has done for our students and what that connection to a school counselor, a college counselor, a health and wellness coordinator has done for our students. Teaching formation has improved our relationship. In fact, I think it's essential in working with the students individually. And we get opportunity to access our students multiple times a week in a face-to-face -face platform. And so we can catch students that might be struggling academically and be able to set uh, unique goals that are specific to individualize to them because we know them so well, because we see them so much. Formation began in 2006, and I think we've it was definitely a transition, but I think where we're at now, we're seeing a lot of pros to being in the classroom, being able to be more proactive in delivering curriculum and meeting our students' needs. It builds each year. Freshman year, we focus primarily on their transition to high school and finding where everything is in the building and resources. Sophomore year, as they begin to feel more comfortable, we focus on relationship building and branching out, uh, exploring some new opportunities and activities and uh, junior year it, it shifts to the college process and so helping them determine a good college fit. Senior year it's, it's really finishing the completion of that process, um, so helping them with their application, talking about financial aid opportunities and, and in that second semester it's learning how to live with a roommate, really learning how to live on your own and um, you know, talking to professors and really making um, smart, healthy choices and being an active part of that college campus and community. We've learned a lot about mental health and like signs of suicide and like eating disorders, depression, everything. We covered like uh, the whole spectrum and I think that's very helpful and very like important, especially in high school because this is when all these things are going on and some people don't know like the signs or the symptoms or just the fact that it's happening in general. So I, I think the fact that we're educated on it in general is really important. Having school counselors in the classroom allows them to get to know the students, not only as individuals, but to actually experience them in the context of a group dynamic on a continuous basis. So their knowledge of the students actually runs deeper and I believe runs broader. It's, it's crucial for, for counselors to be in the classroom, to see what a student is going through, to have that same camaraderie with the classroom teachers as well, to understand what they're going through. And those common experiences and those commonalities really do help to foster a much stronger school community. My school counselor, she's amazing. She always helps me with school and if I have any questions, she'll contact other people who have answers to them that I wouldn't know otherwise. And she helps me with college things too, even though I'm just a sophomore. Having a relationship with my school counselor, being close with a teacher, that's not like an um, academic teacher is really good because then you have someone that you can trust and someone you can talk to. I've benefited also a lot from having a relationship with my counselor. Whenever I need to, I'll just go see her, whether I have to make a huge decision and like think about the pros and cons and I just need someone to talk it out with or I need advice about something or I'm having a tough class or a hard time with a teacher. I've definitely utilized my relationship with her by like just like I feel comfortable enough to go see her whenever I need to. Parents always say that, it, that formation is one of the things that sets Loyola apart from other schools. The parent perspective of their oldest child going to high school can sometimes be scary and overwhelming. And while you've chosen as a family Loyola Academy for many reasons, what's nice about the formation program is knowing that there are four years of the same formation counselor 
amongst the same students. So there's a comfort level that begins to grow from freshman year through senior year. Formation class has really benefited my child in the sense that he's really felt like there's a lot of other kids in that class going through a lot of the same things he's going through. That then enabled him to start to open up a little and actually bring up some issues that he was not bringing up at home. Coming into freshman year, I only knew about four people from my old school. So I think Formation did a really good job of sort of getting me in an environment where I could talk to people and talk to new people and where I felt comfortable. The formation program really helped me um, focus on, you know, other areas outside of academics and it showed my school cared about me outside of academics. So I think it helped me prepare for college, especially since it started when I was a senior. You know, we cover topics such as helping choose your major and helping to transition from high school to college and learning how to budget. So really focusing on enhancing those life skills outside of the classroom. Formation uh, is a great help to our college counseling program here at Loyola Academy because very rarely do college counselors get an opportunity to speak directly to students in a classroom setting. We as college counselors are able to uh, insert ourselves into the formation curriculum 10 times throughout the year. We teach things such as uh, discernment, self-reflection, we talk about the college search and application process. I have an opportunity in the, in the role that I have to uh, work with colleagues from all around the country and very rarely does uh, a high school have that kind of opportunity to have face time in front of students throughout the process. I not only would recommend this as a model that other high schools should adopt, but I honestly can't imagine going back to counseling without formation. I just think we would lose so much. We would lose out on the really getting to know every single kid on your caseload. I would absolutely recommend this to other schools that are looking for a different model or paradigm. I believe that it helps to make stronger connections with the rest of the professional staff at the school. I believe it is more effective and more in the student's interest to have us following this kind of a program together. Formation is really helping our students be able to uh, meet Loyola Academy's mission of being men and women for others better.